Get ready for the countdown. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. When the bell tolls, you know what time it is. It is the Know Nothing Show. Steve Benz, Eric Black, two mics, two dudes, half a brain. That's how we know. Is that not how we know everything, Eric? Uh, that's that's what the staff meeting this morning said, that uh, two dudes know absolutely nothing, half a brain. I guess they call themselves Know Nothing, Steve and Eric, blah, blah, blah. And then three hours later, we were done. I think I was napping in that one. Yeah, well, that's the I put I I have this little nice app that I have on my phone. I just press record on it and it records everything around me. So uh, they also have this little hoodie that I can put over my head, uh, and it actually looks like a pillow. It's nice. I have I have naps all the time. I'm surprised that you didn't know that. I guess we were both sleeping at the same time. Well, I had my little uh, onesie on. And oh. believe me, it was mighty. See, I didn't mighty even know that warm. was. I didn't. Even, I was using that as a blanket. I didn't even know that was you. My bad. I didn't know. Ah, I'm eating this this episode. I said, screw you. I've had enough of your eating of some sort. I'm having some pizza or pie if you're Italian. You know, okay. well, I'm eating too. Uh, I've, I always thought that I was a ridiculously amazing trendsetter. No, never. Ever. No, I, I am. That's a, that's you a know bag. what? I just looked at your shirt. I thought it said blue bitches. I mean, it's, it's, it's close. It's Thursday. Close enough. Close Thursday, enough. Thursday. <laughs> Let's just suck it. Hey, uh, <clears throat> quick question. Uh huh. Make <sighs> it an easy one. How are you, buddy? You know, I've had a good week. Good. Good. I got a lot of things done this week. Plus, 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 plus. I'm looking for a new car. Right there. Huh. We could talk hours and hours about that. From all the know nothing money. Yes. So, cheers to you, my friend. Well, hold on, cheers. hold on. I wasn't. I didn't know we were doing. Hold on. Here we go. All right. Cheers to you, man. Cheers to you, buddy. And we're up on the Facebook link. So, I decided I posted up there. If someone dares, and I'm double dogging them right now, I'm pointing to them. If they can watch both feeds at the same time. Well, I mean, I don't. That's kind of dangerous. I'd, but I guess that's. Uh, I guess that'll happen. I think we've got a couple think, people doing it right now. We'll see. We'll see how that. Pans I would out. Like to see how that would work. That would be, you know, because I have to look up to talk to you, and then I look down t- for the Facebook link, and I look over there to see what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm looking mm-hmm. at eight different places, and you can see I've raised the monitors a little bit because actually I prefer to stand. Yeah. And during the other broadcast, I stand, but I think for this, I would be. I think I look out of cam. Right? Am I out of cam? That's not. A, it's not a horrible thing. Ouch. I'm just saying, I, I say it with love. Now, here, but, but if I stand up. Right, then they would see that it says, right, we don't need any of that. See, that's just awkward for everybody. That's it, Although, we should do that next show, though, both of us. Just well, cut I, off our heads. Okay, it's, that's fine. Nothing's fine. necessary. So, for all of you watching my feed, hey, hello, having some pizza right there. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Delicious. Well, uh, I had some cheesy breadsticks too. Oh, you saved, you ate those already? Of course I did. Well, all right. That's the first thing you eat. All right. So, uh, so, so while I go through all this. Well, I'm I'm actually mm-hmm. eating some. Uh, this, this is this is probably the most unique thing I've had on the show to date, uh, as far as food. Um, and it, it's their fried pork rinds or uh, chickaroons. Uh, if you if you want to call them that, chickarones, depending on which which dialect you you decide on, but basically fried fried pork rinds. And I and I know yeah. um, uh-huh. most of you out there are like, <laughs> and to you, I just suck it. I don't I don't care. Uh, these are delicious. I enjoy them. Now these are just plain ones. Usually I I, I dive into the barbecue, but I yeah. didn't do that this week. So you know it is what it is. And, and I would like to say when we ate those, there was a lot of weed going on. Well, uh, that will happen every now and again. Um, not me personally. Well, we was, were, the bong was not mine. We were at a reggae show, so that kind of makes sense. 
Uh, yeah, we did have. Yeah, yeah, we did have the uh, the Zig um, Zig Marley hair going. Yeah, yeah. She uh, had it one time, which at, was really lame. It was awesome. No, it was awesome, and you just jealous. I will tell you this though: the last show that my band did, I introduced us as a Swedish reggae band, and <laughs> everybody had no idea how to function after that because obviously that's that's clearly not the case. But I would have paid to see that then. Yeah, if, if it was Mortal Rising Swedish bands. Swedish there. reggae, Swedish reggae. reggae. Sorry, yeah, it was. It was amazing. It's probably platinum by now. I would say. So that would make me think of uh, ABBA and reggae. Is what Ooh. you did. Ooh, um, it's deadly. Yeah. Well, that I guess I can see where you're coming from. Absolutely deadly. I would be there. I would. I'd be in um, full support uh-huh. of you. Mm-hmm. Which doesn't say much. Not a lot at all, actually. I mean, it's coming out of your mouth, but that's really, it's just hot air, really. A lot of people ask me when I, I go to, I do go to a lot of shows. Mm-hmm. Peep shows. And it's solely for the the backstage beverages. Sure, sure. Spread, the food spread. Sure, sure. Now, the craft you don't want to go to uh, the ones where, like, festivals are. Mm. Because uh, they don't have as much food because people are going and stuff. Right. So not to suggest the festival where we're going later this month. Uh-huh. But uh-huh. They're at, when they're at big locations, it is scrum delicious. I don't even need to see the band play. Right. I'm, I'm just there with my own fork and knife going. <laughs> so you're just in the back where craft services are for the bands and the artists eating, right. eating their food. Right, and they're like, um, so Steve, when are we going to do that uh, Facebook link thing? And I'm like, yeah, 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 I'm, I'm eating. Yeah, I'm bu- clearly I'm busy. Things are happening right now, and clearly you're in the way. So uh, I don't know if you're aware of who we are and why we're here, but basically, uh, get out. Get out. And then I wear the T-shirt that says, I love cake. Cake is great. Get cake out of fantastic. my face. Yeah. I'm trying to eat cake. So uh, on on my Facebook feed, and I I guess we have a couple people trying to do this uh, both at the same time, but I've had a couple questions. Now, you can see it on the video, and for those of you listening on the radio, obviously you can't see it, so you'll have to watch the video later. Um, This is not my red cup, uh, as I I do normally. Now, I I changed it up a bit. This is actually a, uh, a mason jar. And I'm I'm huh. assuming most of you know what that is. If you don't, freaking Google it's it. It's very country. Uh, yes, and it has a, it has a little uh, little bit of a handle situation going on right here, and you just take it by the handle like so, and you just put it uh, put it down your your cake hole. See what I did there? I brought it back to cake. I like that. Mm. Yep, that's it's delicious. And that is not to suggest that that is whiskey. I'm not suggesting it. That is not to suggest that it's some other healthy drink. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. we are on a health kick, both you and I. Absolutely. Right now, I am downing um, colon cleansers by the dozens. You said colon cleansers. I did. So I did. basically what you're saying is right now, you're not on a chair. You're on a toilet. I didn't want it. That's why the monitors are much higher mm-hmm. than they were before. Makes complete sense. And if you listen to my microphone, it's very, it's more bassy than ever. Well, I just thought you went through puberty. I didn't even know. <laughs> it's because of the the bathroom acoustics, huh? Acoochiman, as they say. That's awkward. That's a whole different conversation. That's the after after dark show, I think. Uh, right. And I've been asked many times, when does the after dark show begin? Uh, after dark. Hence, the evening edition of the show. Wow. We could not do this as a morning show. Uh, we could, but I think I think we'd uh, twenty minutes in. I think it would end. Would anyone actually make it to work? I don't even know that we would make it to work. Because morning shows, you have to be there at like 3 o'clock in the morning because they start at 4 or 5. They suck. And they I literally suck. Yeah, that's not going to happen. So I used to do just news for a morning show, and I thought hmm. and I w- it was a rip and read oh. job. Oh. So you got the little teleprompter that goes, did 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 I'm doing sound effects again. I should be paid for just, this. Yeah, and just to clarify real quick, that's not you're not farting and reading at the same time. It's not that's not the rip and read. It's a whole it's not Ooh, it's a whole dude. different thing. Don't be thrown by that. Yeah, it's it's different. And it, um, AP News or UPI. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So then we had to edit it on the fly. Right. 
And if you read too much, one, you'd have to go to the next story because you'd have a news director in front of you going, why are you reading about uh, homosexual kangaroos? Right. I'm like, which is a thing. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I guess it doesn't say that. Hmm. I'm sorry. Hmm. Hmm. But the weather today, and I often read yesterday's weather. Well, in case you missed it, uh, it was nice out yesterday. Um, it was it was great. I don't know. I, I, I don't know how you. It was 4.30 in the morning. Do that. Yeah. Hmm. So, I did the morning show one hey, time here in Nashville. You have a uh, morning show uh, funny, not so much funny story, I can tell you. I was doing TV news back then. So part of a truck. We're part of a crew. So you were you were working for a television station yes. doing the news. Yes. Okay. So I was very young. I was very dumb. Hmm. So Not much there's changed. a hostage crisis going on. Right. So it's Chicago. We were a station. Uh, we were an early Fox station. Mm-hmm. So they didn't have really news at the time. Sure. Sure. So they're like, hey, we got a new truck. Get in the truck and go out there. <laughs> Woohoo! Let's go out there. <sighs> Place is surrounded with TV crews. It is. Two thirty in the morning. Wow, three o'clock somewhere in there. Wow. So at the time they were talking about, oh, we do music all night, all day. Great, fantastic. That sounds great. That's, so that's we're getting out in the truck, and I kind of see all the police. I'm going, oh, this would be kind of interesting. It's really, really cold out. Okay, so there's about three feet of snow. So we're out country, like where you grew up, right? Where I grew up. So we're out there, and. We're setting up, and we hear the guy scream out of the window as he breaks the window. You turn, you turn on those lights. I'm gonna start shooting. Oh geez. I'm like, did anybody else hear that? Oh geez. Did anybody else hear that? And uh, you know, my my director, his name was Mike. Mike, good old Mike. He's like, uh, I didn't hear anything. Get your ass out there and get all hooked up. I'm like, uh, okay. Typical person in charge. So I'm standing behind a van. So we had a reporter show up. Very, she was same age as I was, young and dumb. Mm-hmm. So again, we hear again. You turn on those lights. I'm gonna start shooting. <laughs> Which is always good to hear at three o'clock in the morning. So I'm sitting there, propped up there, and and the girl in front of me, I think her name is Jessica. So she turns towards me. So I got the camera on her. I'm like. I hope they don't have us turn this on. <laughs> no one else is doing it. I'm like, seriously. Um, I hope they don't. Yeah. So, of course, he fires up the damn lights that were live. <laughs> I hear three gunfires go right past my head. Live television. You see me hit the damn dirt, grab her, and we crawl in two feet of snow under the damn truck. And you hear him screaming in the background oh about gosh. me to pick up the $20,000 camera. Whew. 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 I didn't have a job much longer. Yeah, weird. <laughs> weird how that works. Yeah. 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 But huh. that is my claim to fame for TV news. I never did TV news ever again. Yeah, I would I'd assume not after that. Although the Know Nothing show will have news segments. Uh-huh. So. Well, You've got weaponry. The whole show is a news segment. Everything we talk about is news. It is it, newsworthy. It's, it's better than what you actually hear on the news, as far as I'm concerned, anyway. But what do I know? I'm just a DJ. We could be, you know, we could be the morning news. You and I. I mean, we're both kind of wacky. We could play a couple Ooh. of characters. If if by morning you mean late afternoon, then absolutely, I'm in. <laughs> You no, know, we'll be. You know what? We'll come on at this time. It would be early morning for the BBC. There you go. Perfect. Done. I think that would be all right. Yeah. So we could we could go back and forth with our stories. And now back to Eric. And we just go back and forth. Right. Uh, Much there were like, a lot of killings in Russia today. No one cared. Forty-five. Yeah. Back to you, Eric. Yeah. Uh, and then again, uh, later this afternoon, you will see another uh, mass killing in Russia because that's what Russians do. And for all of you in Paris, France, 
um, you don't like us, so you don't listen or watch. Yeah. So let's yeah. go back to camera four. Yep. Switch it back. Switch uh, it back. Go I, with I th- the weather. I think it's good. I think we should do it. I think it's no nothing news. I don't know why we're not doing it already. Well, we did agree that I could host the ADD news. Mm-hmm. 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 No nothing. I think that would be very appropriate. Yeah. I agree. I agree. I think it would be because I would come up with stories like this. Here we go. There's a company out there that says astrology could determine your pooping habits. Astrology. Astrology. Okay. That hits on the Huffington Post. And you know right there. That's very important. What's what what is true? your sign? I'm going to read you your sign. My sign? Yeah. Can I, sh- can I show that? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I, I'm currently, now this changes from month to month, but currently I'm a Gemini. What? We're both Gemini? Absolutely. I kind of forgot that. That's why we hate everyone. Okay, so we are considered both chatty Cathy's. Yeah, that's... In the bathroom. I guess that works out on a, in, the, in the bathroom. Well, that we're, we're... We like... Get this. We like doing our business while surrounded by conversation. So don't be fooled by the silence. A quiet Gemini just means they're eavesdropping on your conversation. So listen what you say. Hmm. Hmm. How truth is that? I ask you, Monsignor Black. Um, you know, I'm okay with that. I'm I'm let's roll with that. I like that. It's not it's not bad, I guess. So I mean, that would mean if both you and I were in the bathroom at the same time mm-hmm. and someone came in, we would have a full discussion. Uh we do. It's yeah. getting the people to come in and listen to it is where we're at right now. Yeah. And it's usually the same stall, which is which. And I'm going to be honest. In the beginning, it was a little awkward, uh, but I think uh, I think we're we're getting used to used to that situation. So, you know. I don't like that you bring in at your own bathroom tissue. That is very weird. Listen, quilted, quilted is where it's at. No, it, it's that's weird. It's weird that you bring in your own. It's not okay, weird. it's not weird at all. It it is only the best for this bum. I mean, you, you sit there, and then I can hear you opening the package like you brought in 24 rolls. Seriously? It's only 12. And it's then you 12. don't share. No. Right there. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. Uh, I Just because I bring snacks doesn't mean they're for everyone, okay? Uh, that never flew with me in school. They're like, what, did you bring some for everyone? I was like, does it look like I brought some for everyone? Is Is everyone around me right now eating the same thing I'm eating? No, I am. I am. So why don't you guys go ahead and, you know, get your with your parents and you go get some tasty treats because these these are mine and I'm not going to share. And I that's that's kind of how I became. My hand was underneath for those damn Skittles. Okay, you gave nothing. I'm sorry. I mean, I I told you I said I I don't have any I don't have any for you. These are all for me because I brought them for me. I am, you know, just how it is. I'm still hurt by that, but we are chatty Cathy's, so yeah. that's right. So, yeah. I do like talking to someone God, at no. the, uh, the wall of urinals. Girls, like you, have no idea what you're talking about. We go into your bathroom, and it's like a lounge. Yeah, actually, it is. Uh, you've got places to sit. You've got all these things up on the wall. I not. You guys have to pay for napkins. You like I don't know what the hell that is? And ice cream, and you got some like pretzel stuff, and. What what's up with that? We have maybe sometimes we have a urinal, maybe. Or we're 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 peeing into a trough of some sort. Yep. And you have to have a conversation when you're standing next to some bros. Yep. But and t- you don't want to look down. I'll it's tell like, you no. I'll tell you this though. The best way to not have a conversation with someone is start it off with, hey man, you want to play swords? That always kills it right there. It always they're just like, nope, and then they move on down or they go to a different area or they leave altogether and it's perfect. I admit, when I heard that from you, from four people down, I couldn't go. Yeah. I, I, I just stood there. I, I froze. Mm-hmm. I froze. Mm-hmm. I was kind of like, button up my 503s and just leave. Well, just Levi. Left. Just Levi. Yeah. It, it is what it is. It's like going to, it's like going to a, a baseball game. I mean, you, you, uh, they always have those. I, well, I don't know if. Everyone has those now, but they used to. They all just were troughs, and yeah. 45 people would be standing in a line. Yeah, and they're, like, right up against you. Yeah. Okay? They're shoulder like, going, oh, dude, you need you need to move. So you go up, and it's like you go up and you know, just march right past as a group. So you'd have to wait till the guy next to you, to the left or to the right, moved. Yep. And then, it's, and then someone could, like, pee on your, on your calf. What are you going to do? Yep. 
to start a riot. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of what we do in the bathroom anyway, I suppose, is yeah, there's... let's start a but riot. But you have to admit, you have to admit, when I started singing Yo Ho Ho, that was fun. Yeah. Well, actually, that was kind of fun. It was. I mean, 99 bottles of beer on the wall. Come on. Well, it, it took a while. We had to push that guy out. It was, uh, it was, a, it was one of those days. It was one of those days. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> All right, so why don't you throw out our social media since we're coming up to a break. I, you know, we keep being told we have to say these things. Yeah, well, I – stupid morning meetings. Listen, here's the deal. If you want to uh, – if you want to – for some reason, if you want to attach yourselves to us via social media, you certainly can. Uh, I'm just going to warn you that it's probably not a great idea, but but come on over. We, we don't bite. <laughs> That's a lie. We do bite, but it's fine. Some people like that. Uh, social media is all Know Nothing Show, and you can find us pretty much everywhere, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Um, all that stuff. If you are missing the show uh, that right now, you can go. Um, if you're missing it, you probably can't hear me, but your friends might. You can actually go to uh, to the uh, YouTube page and listen to all the the past shows and things like that, and watch us. All that stuff. You can actually replay the Facebook Live on either Steve's uh, Facebook or myself. Either way, shoot us an email at knownothingboys at gmail dot com. We might read it on the air. We might not. I don't know. I don't know. It depends on how stupid it is. But uh, that's pretty much where it's at for us on social media. Back to you, Steve. All right. We will be back in a minute. Do not go anywhere. Unless, of course, you have cake. If you have cake, post the picture. Mm, we'll be cake. right back. It is no nothing. Welcome back. It is the No Nothing Show. Steve and Eric. I just love this segment. Ah! And I know you guys like my, my singing, so everybody can just suck it. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't say suck it. Only Eric can say suck it, right? Is that what people are telling you? <sighs> well, basically, I, I'm just I'm a trendsetter, so uh, you, you're, just, you're just copying every cool thing that I do. You're, yeah. you're, like, you're, like, you're like the, the younger brother in this <laughs> particular situation where the roles have reversed. And it's, it's like this is a weird Twilight Zone. I don't know if I like it, it or not. It is. So quit your complaining. All right. So you complain week after week that I never give you a chance to talk about in segment two. So And yet week after week, you don't. Well, there's some truth in that, you little bastard. So here's what we're going to talk about. And I think it's something that uh, all of us need to need to hear, especially those in Nashville. It's it's something we've been talking about for a while. It's the, it's the okay. Pilgrimage Festival. Uh, and it is coming up on September 24th. And 25th, we will be there doing some live stuff, taking some uh, some photos, uh, not not really of the bands, uh, just of re weird, <laughs> random. <laughs> they won't let us people. Yeah. Um, but yeah, some of the people that are going to be there, uh, you got Beck, you got Grace Potter. Uh, Cake is going to be there. Um, cake? What? Cake? Cake. That's, cake? I, every time I hear them, it just makes me mad because I want freaking cake. Um, who else you got? You got Hall and Oates, um, which I guess I don't think they go by that really anymore. It's their names, but I, I don't care. Uh, Margo Price, uh, none of you probably know who that is, but that's actually somebody that I interviewed way back in like 2008, 2009 on my other radio show, Revolver Underground. She is making some big things. She's kind of a country folk Americana type situation. Um, so there's a lot of good stuff going on there. There's a lot of, uh, obviously there's a lot of music, but there's a lot of other things as well that uh, you can do. If you're if you're wanting to go to there, uh, if you're going to be in the area, it's in Franklin, Tennessee, which is right down the road uh, from Nashville. If you're going to be in the area, please let us know. We would love to ignore you completely and uh, make sure that everybody knows that we're ignoring you completely. Uh, <laughs> while we're there, we will take pictures of you. Uh, unfortunately, we'll have to do the backside of us, so you'll have the back of our heads uh, that's really that's really all of our all of our uh, agents. They just said yes, you can do pictures there, but unfortunately, they have to be the back the back of your head. Uh, we do charge to be seen. It's it's true uh, because we're kind of a big deal. The show is heard in over uh, over one country now, um, so I think we're doing very 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 well. Um, but I but if you're gonna go pilgrimagefestival dot com is a lot of the information there. You can buy some tickets. And uh, go go see what's going on. Franklin is a very very awesome town. It's uh, very historical as well. There's a lot of battles fought there. Um, I like you and I, if that matters. Yeah, I guess there will be some battles going on. I don't know. With you and I. But I'm I'm pretty excited about it. There's going to be a lot of good stuff. We're going to be getting into the. Uh, I, they call it the media lounge. Now every now here's the deal though. Every media lounge that I've been in, not a lounge. Not a lounge. Not a lounge. 
uh, almost a tent. You could almost call it a tent. But I, I've seen pictures. It's a tent. It's a tent. Uh, it's almost a tent, meaning that it's like one of those little pop-up things that they use at graduations um, that have no sides. They almost have a roof, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. But I think it's going to be good. There's a lot of great stuff going on, um, and uh, it's like I said, it's in Franklin, Tennessee. And uh, if you ever get a chance to go to Franklin, uh, as much as Nashville, you can you can do that. It's going to be fun. But if you're there, let us know. We'd love to hear from you. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So we'll be in. Uh, I'm coming in hot Friday, Friday night, Friday. So that'd be good. So yep. we'll have a lot of things going on. So we'll get some live video, some Periscope going on. So and you're be- you're you're flying in, correct? Um, I don't know. I haven't really. I'm probably gonna drive in. Okay. Well, if you're gonna fly, make sure you don't have a paper ID. TSA yeah. Will yeah. We know all about that, you. and because you're illegal, mm-hmm. you're an illegal alien. I am. Okay. Have you I gotten? Am. Have you gotten a plastic one yet? I did. Have I finally you... got one, and now everything is fine. Now people will let me in. They'll let me drink again, which honestly didn't stop me. Uh, I'm not any of that? Yeah. So now yeah, we're good. We're everything's fine now. Everything's all good. Um, we are also live on Facebook, uh, Steve's Facebook, my Facebook, Eric Black, Steve Benz. You can go check what that out. What about MySpace? Are we on uh, MySpace? We do have a MySpace page. Uh, however, you will have to get into your time machine and go back 15 years <laughs> in order to actually be a part of this wonderful thing that they call MySpace. That has been sold uh, six times. So, uh, yeah. That's... Look, if Justin Timberlake is using it, so am I. Well, Let's good say. luck with that. I guess. All right, I so bye, bye, bye. I don't, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. He's funny, though. I would he, like to he, get him on the show. That is. would be kind of cool to have him on. He is. He's, he's multi-talented um, in many different areas of his life. I wish he would stop trying to sing those high notes. <laughs> Bro, you can't do it. Even Eric can't. Eric just hurt himself. Nope, I did. I had, uh, I have a hernia now. Yeah. Not good. Uh, here, stay away. Just l- stay away. Let me ask way. you this, Sir Steve. Okay. Uh, you just were knighted. I don't know if you were aware of that, but I just and I just knighted you. Um, how long? What's what's the longest period of time that you have spent with uh, with these people called dentists? Ooh, I am not a fan of dental work. Sure, sure. Um, I do not like the dental hygienist that I have now. Uh huh. Uh huh. Because uh-huh. she always gets on me and bitches and complains uh-huh. and. and uh, I got hit in the mouth at when I played football and stuff, so I still bleed over that because I have some problems and stuff. So sure, and I get lectured, sure, I, like that. And I, I didn't, uh, I, I didn't have fluoride on all my teeth as a kid, so I had a lot of dental work as a kid. So I'm a big baby. Hmm. So hours and hours and hours when I was a kid. Well, I don't, I don't know what that means, but I guess we'll go with that. So you, so you just completed dental school? I that- did just complete dental school. Um, and by completing it. I I just I just went in I just went into the dentist, uh, but I spent three solid hours. What at this place? What and and I'm not saying anything bad about the dentist. The dentist was great, but go ahead. They suck. Go ahead. It, it it's, it's way way too long. Now my dentist, uh, they have they have these things called TVs that they've installed in in every single one of their rooms. Great idea. They even give you headphones. Great idea. Fantastic. However, I'll tell you this. If if you have any type of situation, if you're just in there for a general cleaning, perfect. But if you have any type of drilling Oof. going on, the TV is completely useless. Because I don't know if you're aware of this, but your teeth are inside of your face, uh, yeah. in your mouth. And yeah. in any any time that you want to drill on any any part of your mouth or scrape, Uh-oh. yeah, Uh-oh. Uh, your whole body hears it. Because I don't know if you know this, but your ears are located right on your face, uh, next to your mouth, actually. Let me check. Let me see. It's still yeah. some of some of you have in a different area, um, yeah. or not at all. But uh, that's where mine are located. And it was three hours of root canal. Did you have a root canal or something? What? Did you have a root canal? I did. Yeah, I did have. Oh one. my god! And it was did- glorious. I don't like you very much, but I feel your pain. Yeah, you will feel my pain because I'm going to set you up with one. I feel, what I would like to see, the next time that you go in, I would like to see a live camera of you. That would be entertaining if I'm in the other room. So speaking of live camera, 
I actually asked them if I could do that because I had they said no phones and blah 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 and I was like I right. don't, don't ever listen to any of that crap. So obviously I pulled out my phone and I started doing stuff on my phone because I'm a busy guy. I got stuff to do, especially if you're going to keep me here for three hours. So I asked them. I was like, hey, I'm going to do this, and they're like, well, we'd rather you not. There's certain things and blah blah blah. They went through their whole legal crap, and I'm like, okay, so next time I'm going to just do it and I'm not going to ask. That's my problem. I used to just not ask. I used to just do things and then apologize later. And then somewhere right. along the way, it got all messed up. And I started asking people if I could do things. And then they just started saying no. And I'm like, I When did you become a wuss? I apparently, like 10 years ago, uh, that's going to stop. Uh, I'm pretty much done with that. That's stupid. So, so going gonna... with a selfie stick, is that what you're going to do? Uh, yeah, it's it's more like a selfie trunk. Uh, huh? I, I got, the, I got the, really, the really thick one. Um, it, it goes pretty, pretty high. I don't know if you're familiar with I'm going to bring thoughts. in a, an entire film crew. I think you should. The lighting needs to be fantabulous. I think you should. I think that'd be amazing. Sure my hair looks good. That's important. Yeah. I, oh. here, here's the other deal. I've got some people on Facebook talking about how, how drilling makes them ugh, no. just, I, that's, oh, that's, my that, drilling. Oh my God. That is. And it was literally, it was it, drilling. It was, that and that is the one thing that, and they're going like, um, you're not going to feel anything. If you don't numb my entire body, I'm going gonna to be feel felt. it. It's going to be felt. And not only that, and you, you, I had headphones on, the, I had the volume turned up, but nothing was muting this. <laughs> nothing was muting that at all. It was That's the only thing I could hear. So I was like, screw this. And I just uh, I just sat there for The only thing that uh, would deaden it is my screaming. You are a good, I'm going to, I'll tell you this. You are a good screamer. You, I, if, if you were to work in any, any type of haunted house situation, uh, I believe that's what you would be hired for is you, you would be like the, if you were on the credits, you'd be like first screamer or, or one first number one screamer, uh, something to that effect. And that comes from my acting class. Okay. I've learned to uh -huh. scream, mm -hmm. drop and roll. Scream, drop and roll. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. So I was like, ah! Then you got to hit the ground, and you have to roll in, in all of it. It's, you know, I learned that from, uh, you know, my acting class and, uh, you know, just all the top actors like Tom Cruise. Sure, sure. Does it. Sure. If you watch it. If you watch his new movie that he's coming out as Jack Reardon, yep. he does it. Yeah. Jack Reardon, too. Yeah. You know, hits, you know, actually that movie, the first one wasn't that bad. I can't stand him, but I actually enjoyed it. Really? You, you, don't, you don't like him? No, nah, because it's the same guy. It's kind of like, seriously, really? You know? But see, that's why I like him, because I don't have to think about it. I know that if I'm going to see his film, I know what type of film it is. And if I'm in the mood for that film, I'm going to go see that film, because I, I already know. Yeah, but know. what do you think of him redoing uh, The Mummy? Okay. Well, I He's think... but do I, all three of The Mummy movies. But I think it's the same as every conversation we've had about reboots. I'm I'm not a fan of reboots. I don't... I, I don't know. I think the first one, I mean, obviously, if the first one sucked, <laughs> then you should just ignore that one and just do it right. Okay, so let's reboot Top Gun. You can't. You know? It was too big of a classic. You can't, it will never and get. Let's face it, Top Gun was not a great movie, and I had a girlfriend back then who goes, oh, man, it's just a great, great love story. Sure. I'm like, sure, sure. well, isn't Kelly like 60 in this movie? Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. And of course, I, honestly, I didn't care that it was more of a chick flick. I was just looking, you know, to go wah, 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 ha, ha, afterwards. That's well, that's that's fair. I don't it know. It was on a Sunday night, so I knew. Ho, <laughs> ho, <laughs> Like a little cheaper ticket. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Come on, guys. You know goodness. what I'm saying, guys? Get a little cheaper ticket. You get a little more popcorn. You know what I'm saying? It's like, whoa, no, okay. Come on now. No, nah, I'm saying. No, nah, I'm saying. Dude, I, did you see the. Did you see. You don't follow my. My Snapchat, do you? Uh, no, I. You know, I have Sweet. a Snapchat, but I. I ought to try turning it on. Maybe that would help. Well, I. I took a Snapchat. I was in. I was in Kansas City uh, a couple weekends ago, and I went to this theater. It's an AMC uh, theater, and they actually have the recliners, which I've been in oh, yeah. theaters with nice. recliners, but these were legit, legit recliners. I mean, you could go back almost all the way. Yeah. And just hang out, and it was glorious. I was watching the the new the new Jason Bourne, which was I I enjoyed it. It was great. It was I got still see that thoroughly so. loved. Um, and I will have I will have all of the I will uh, the trilogy that I that I call the Bourne series is the one 
with Jason Bourne, not with uh, not with the what's his name. Yeah, the other guy that was just it's, to see if they could replace well, him. Well, so. yeah, yeah, uh, pff, whatever. Kind of um, like new uh, James Bond. They're trying to replace him, and they're bring, they offered him fifty million a film to come back. Well, <laughs> it would be thank you. I, yeah, I mean that that would that would pay at least um, at least a car payment. I think my, you, my lunch tab for yeah, the day, my drinking tab for the day. Yeah, so I, you know, I think I don't know. I just. Now, of the theater that you went into, was that the uh, the two dollar show, or was that the no, full? No, that was the full the full Monty. See, we've got one like that, and it's only three dollars a film. And I saw the latest Star Trek for new movies. Um, yeah, or wow. it just left like six weeks ago. It's wow. awesome. It's right. awesome. That's and the next one course, I got to see. I was in the middle, being the smartest that I am. <laughs> and what I don't like before the movies is they play like 30 minutes of commercials. It's not, it's not even a joke, actually. That's not a joke. So I, of course, in a mo- in before it, I'm like, start the movie, start the movie. And people are, with, <laughs> are just so embarrassed. I go, um, you asked me, okay? <laughs> yeah. You yeah. asked me here, so shut up. Yeah, you should have known. Suck. The whole works. And then, of course, I went into, ah, ha, 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 ha. Yeah. yeah. As you would. Up for refills. As you would. Yeah, that makes sense. Absolutely. Because I have to sit in the middle. If I have to, you know, if I have to annoy people so they leave, Mm -hmm. so they get out of the perfect place, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will. Yeah. Well, I will sit there and just fake farts just to get people to move. Oh, I don't have to fake them. No. Because they move faster if they they get that little stench in their nostrils. Yeah, just bodaciousness. They just they just want to get up and leave. And it's more fun for me. So I need I I will not pay full price anymore. I I will not have green eggs and ham. It's not worth it to me. Well, do you go all out with the popcorn? The twenty bucks, twenty five bucks? Uh, I've no. Uh, it's stupid. Um, generally I'll just get. Well, I'll stop at the Walgreens first of all for the majority of the stuff, right. and then I'll then I'll bring my own microwave and popcorn and set up station. Right. You know, next to the <laughs> extension next to the line. Yeah. Don't mind that. Don't mind that. I'll buy a seat just for my microwave. <laughs> And, and uh, you got someone behind you taping it down so nobody yep. trips over it. Yep. Yep. Safety first, people. <laughs> Safety first. That's all I'm saying. And then I, I just pop my own pop my own corn and right. by the time the previews are done, my corn is ready, my candy's ready, my my beverage is ready, and I'm now, ready. Buddy, we're sitting in there, you and I are making jiffy pop. Right there, a little buns and burger. Yeah, Absolutely. We got our little <laughs> stove top going. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. That Coleman would be, grill. We have to do that when we're in Nashville. Yeah. I have yeah. to just walk in with some jiffy pop. Oh my god. I mean, what are, what are they gonna do? Kick you out? No, they'll probably say that smells delicious. And they'll want it. Can we have some? Yeah. Just a little bit. That's what I'm hoping for. Oh my god, that is just too funny. We're up against a break. I need to take another break. It is no nothing. We'll be right back. And we are back. It is no nothing, Steve and Eric. We had to take a little break. We got to make sure we take care of all of our sponsors as we beg more sponsors to come aboard as we go nationwide, worldwide. We've got uh, last time I checked, fifty six countries have tuned into this show. That is shocking, absolutely shocking. Now the question still remains: yeah. Why? Why? What's happening? What's going? What is wrong think- with the world? I think now that we've been uh, simulcast in several different languages, that has helped. True, true. So oh, us in, in Chinese is wonderful. It's fa- it's fantastic. Yeah. yeah so fantastic. we have to, you know, the Chinese are breaking in. They they they're trying to emulate this show left and right. There are a lot of know nothing shows in China. So as as you should as this this show, I mean, this is if this were I've said this before, but if this were a single on an album. On a musical album, I it it'd probably be multi platinum. Uh, it would be, but and we could be right here. This show could be a KT uh, a KTEL album too. Yeah, some about the greatest yeah. hits. Yeah, like the now CD. The now, the now CD. So we could just do little two minute blurbs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you think about it, we've been on almost ten months now. Which I, it's, who's in charge of that? Like, did you just go, your mind just blow, like, 
Yeah, because when we came up with this with this idea, we went we went you know to the to the bosses and we're like, so here's what we got, and they're like, yeah, nope, <laughs> nope. And then and then they gave us mics. They're like, eh, screw it, let's just put them on. And for some reason, we're still here. It's, yeah, it's uh, it's taken off. I don't. It's I been don't, fun. It it's has. Been fun. We haven't even scratched the surface of the possibilities. Nope. Nope. Now the That's possibilities scary. of us on the road. In uh, a hamster mobile, I think would be fun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As we just uh, drive from city to city and just let people know that they know nothing. Now, I noticed that you said hamster vehicle. Yeah. I'm going to have to have you define that. Well, the little, uh, the, the hamster commercial, the Scion. Oh. All right, right, right over, right. zoom, right over your head. Well. That's how <clears throat> deep my jokes are. See, I have this hat on today. And it's very aerodynamic, and I've I purposely wore it today so that things I don't. There's a lot of stuff I just don't have to care about. I have a feeling that as a kid, when you played baseball, you could not throw the ball very far. Uh, right. no, quite the opposite, it's... actually. Yeah, quite the opposite. I threw it too far, um, in the right. wrong direction. But nonetheless, I I threw it too far. <laughs> um, so you know. What about golf? You play golf? Here's the deal with golf. Are you ready for this? I'm can ready. I, can I blow your mind real quick? Okay. So I played golf in high school. Right. And ended up being second in on my team in in golf. Now, what? now, if you and I were to go golfing while you were here, you would not think that I have not played golf in several several years. But I was actually second on my on my team. Yeah, I would not have guessed. Although a lot of the metal guys out there play golf. That's true. Like, actually, like Alice Cooper himself yeah. plays every day. Hmm. 18 or 36 holes That's a bit much and would you say alice is metal or no um i yeah he has to be because because okay. when he when he was coming up metal that was metal um that's what they knew as metal at that point so he's he's kind of a pioneer um, what about his new band with johnny depp and joe perry no that's rock okay just want to make sure that's rock vampires i don't think are very good but that's okay well, they could they could be on the show you know you I know. think Johnny Depp would come on as uh, Captain Jim Bob of some sort. Jim Bobby. I like so, it. But I can see you. Kia soul. If you're going to post anything, post a picture of you playing golf in high school. There's got to be a picture of you, right? The short hair in a cardigan sweater. Got to be. Actually, it was a – what did I, I had the, our, unif- our uniform, uh, I believe, was khakis, and then we had to wear some sort of um, – uh, uh, like polo shirt, but I, I couldn't have okay. any logos on it. Okay. So obviously, I wore a ton of stuff with logos. So this was a public school or a private? This was private. Okay. And that's, like, that's why you and I get along because we won't. Uh, this was high school. We was both school. went to a private high school, yep. and that's why we are so screwed up. I cannot argue with that. Actually, uh, there's a whole. We could do a whole show on just <laughs> private schooling. Right. And we might. It's going to have to be the after hours show because it's going to get a little graphic. But yeah, because I was one of the guys, because um, most of the priests that I knew sp- stunk of bourbon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And when I was, I was in supplier. junior high, I also went to a private school. So I was an altar boy. Were you an altar boy? Nope. All right. So I was literally the tallest altar boy they had seen. So I'm like six inches taller. Than the priests. So when they read, if you guys have gone to a Catholic thing or whatever, it's a big deal. They read the gospel or whatever, so you got to hold candles back then. So I would tip the candle towards the priest just to annoy the crap out of him. <laughs> okay, so he'd be up on a pedestal, and he'd be right where the flame was. Mm-hmm. And one Sunday, you heard him yell at me. Yeah. Flame. My mom was so proud. Oh, absolutely. So yeah. proud. For that, I uh, Easter being the next weekend. <laughs> well, I was I was actually in a uh, you so you were you were raised or raised you went to a Catholic's private school. I actually went to a Baptist school, which I don't know which is worse. That's worse. I, That's worse. Maybe it is. Um, but it got to the point to where I literally uh I I I went and got the rule book and I literally went through it and I broke every single rule that there was in that rule book at the time. Yeah. I was so well, bored. For all the, um, now the Baptists, Catholics, Christians, all that, we all follow the same Ten Commandments, correct? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like the I Bill know. of Rights. Yeah. 
for me, those were just 10 suggestions. Right. Those were, it's like, come on, <laughs> just suggestions. <laughs> so I, I think that's how it should be, especially when I, as I've said on other shows or this one, you know, when you're drinking the unblessed wine, it's like, come on, God maketh. Right. God drinketh with us. <laughs> I think that's okay. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. We turned a nun to quit. That was nice. Hmm. hmm. She left nunhood, got married, the whole works. Hmm. hmm. Uh, her name was Sister Patrice. So, anybody that's out there that knows me, Sister Patrice, she was uh, 5'10 in height. Wow. So, I called her Sister Too Tall one time because I was 5'10 at the time, and that was heard. I had my own desk outside of the principal's office. Well, I had my own, I had my own, uh, literally, I had my own chair in the principal's office because yeah. I was there so much. The The principal and I did not see eye to eye. However, yeah. the administrator and I, uh, he had to play the, the role of the administrator, but he understood what I was doing. And uh, for that, he was, he was cooler um, he was still a d bag, but he was cooler. Would you, say, would you say that our issues as children was because we were uh, intellectually deprived of the brilliance that we now have? We we did, did have, buy that one. We did have to acquire uh, acquire our current brilliance. Um, but I think, yeah, I think uh, there's a lot of crap. I would never. And I got really good grades. Did you get good grades? And I didn't even try. Not in the private school. Uh, in public school, yes. I went to three different schools. Spent most of my time. Now in we know why. School. Yeah. Well, I'm a DJ on the radio. I did go to nine schools in eight years. Absolutely. Why would you not just, explore your? But school, options. I thought was easy. I, I didn't. Think it was very hard at all. Thought school was stupid. Um, I, for the learning situation that, that they provided to me, I was okay. learning nothing. They did not know how to teach me at all. Okay. I hated it. I thought it was stupid. I wanted out. And as soon as I could graduate, I wanted to. I was done. Well, I didn't considering care. that you wanted to sit on their lap, that's, that might have been inappropriate now. Listen, hindsight Can't... is always twenty twenty. okay? We cannot dwell on the past. We, <laughs> we are in the present. Hey. Did you have to wear a uniform or anything? Sort of. They every year they would come up with a different thing that we could or could not wear because of me. Um, <laughs> we we originally it started off with you could wear jeans and you know a nice shirt. Couldn't wear t shirts. You had to wear you couldn't you couldn't have your your necklaces outside of your shirt. You had to have them all tucked in. Couldn't have piercings. Couldn't have facial hair. Couldn't have all, right. all this stuff. So obviously, I I did. Um, and then they bought it to you. You had to wear khakis and a oh. uh, a polo shirt. That didn't work for me. Uh, and then they went back to jeans. They kept they just kept going back and forth because everything that they said to do, I just I didn't care. And didn't, yeah, we didn't only had uh, uniforms when I before high school. It was a bright yellow shirt and brown pants. Yikes! Very attractive. Yikes. And the whole idea was. Uh, where that particular school was, we were by close to a highway or whatever. So you could see us from like two miles away. Wow. Because that was me leaving campus all the time going, you know, there's a Burger King down the street. Let's go get some lunch. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, so, we, and you, then you're in a Burger King and they go, so where do you go to school? Do you not see how I'm yeah. dressed? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. And then in yeah. high school, all it was was a collared shirt. Um, no ripped up jeans. A lot of guys had long hair, ponytails, facial hair. They had got they got rid of that wow. after I left. Wow. But as long as you had a collared shirt and everybody was wearing uh, you know, um the lumberjack and grunge. That's how we all looked right. when it when I went to school before grunge even existed. Right. So we all dressed like Neil Young. Right. Essentially. So if you don't know who Neil Young is, uh Google that. Just Google it. Google the original it. grunge man. Yeah. It's real nice. It is. Hmm. It is so just the memories of all that, and I still laugh about it. So, so Did I you uh, back to any of your uh, reunions. No, no, I was just going to say something about that. I had, uh, I think it was the five year reunion that uh, came up, and I, I couldn't care less about the reunions. There's, I didn't by the the third school. I was like, I don't need to make any friends. I just want to get out. I'm done. I don't care. But yeah. I. So they sent me, you know, the 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 emails, the letter saying, "Hey, here's what we're gonna do," and I'm like, "Ah, whatever. I don't care." 
ended up in the same place. My friends and I, um, some of my other friends, went out to eat. Is actually with my my now wife. We went out to eat at this restaurant, which just happened to be where the actually where the actual uh, event was taking place. Wow. So people kept coming. I was kind of in the front next to the door, and people kept coming up to me that I knew, and I'm like, this is weird. What is happening here? So <laughs> people kept talking to me and saying, hey, you're going to go to the to – the, um, are you here for the reunion? And I'm like, or, are you going to the reunion? And I was like, no, I don't – no, I didn't think so. I don't care. And finally, after like the fifth or sixth person, I finally realized. I said, what is – why is everybody asking? And they're like, well, the reunion's here in the back. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. So immediately, uh, check please. Got the check, left, and uh, never, never returned. You know, that's what happens when you were there to park cars. Well, just, listen, yeah. the the red vest is what got me. Uh, I like wearing the red vest. Uh, people calling me valet. I enjoyed it. I did go to my uh, my ten. That was weird enough. Uh, um, some of the guys that um, were couples that were together. Like, since I went to a private all guys school. We were friends with, there was an all-girls school, a couple of them and all that. There were a couple of guys that that married their high school sweethearts, which me personally, I think that is the dumbest thing you could ever do. Right. Is to stay in that and not move on. Go have some life. Anybody that's uh, married to their first love or whatever, that's the first person. I say, I'm sorry, sooner or later, the, the tranny's going to drop. Uh, the oil needs to be changed. <laughs> you need to be able to know how to do that. Okay? Oh, so, you need how to you gotta learn how to change a tire. You had me a training. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've said that a couple of times, and my arm is very sore every well, time I mention that. It's like I don't know. You look like you're, uh, you know, you slipped a training right there. You know, <laughs> look like you're leaking some night. oil. So got a rough night last night. <clears throat> that's, right. that's what that anal leakage might be. So make oh, sure goodness. if you're watching all those Viagra commercials, that could happen. You can get a boner and have anal leakage. Is that okay? <laughs> yes. Then take it. We were like, it was it was going fine. The show was was going well. We were just talking about reminiscing about high school. And then we went to trannies yeah. and anal leakage all in like five seconds. And the show just plummeted. We lost like 50,000 listeners. And it's, I'm I'm okay with that. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, it is what it is. That's right. That's right. And That's how we roll. It's just kind of how we roll. Goes. Oh my god! I can't believe I went there, but I did. It happened. I, I, I did. I think he was on the show prep, though. I'm just saying. Yeah. It's, yeah. So, I no, didn't see that. You know, leakage. Make there. sure Steve mentions that. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah so cross just, that off as marked and done. So yeah, it's been done. It's now been brought up, so we never need to talk about it again. I did it. We're actually at the end of the show. It's uh, it's good to go. It's you know we're good to go always. That's ghetto. So make sure if you guys haven't seen the show, go to the past episodes uh, up on YouTube. No YouTube. nothing, boys. YouTube. Follow my friend Eric. Hi. Right there, Eric Black was here up on Twitter. Uh, I'm Steve underscore Benz. We're going to be in uh, Nashville, so make sure you guys message to us. Let us know if you're going to be out there. We'll be there. Eric, always a pleasure. Likewise. I guess I should play the outro music so we can get out of here. There we go. Peace and love. We will see you guys next week. Have a good one.